it's Dear Naturals 62. I'm back! Back from Paris. Full on videos coming, so stay tuned for all of that. But I want to do an electric summer water marble. But I want to do this video a little bit different because I want you to feel as if I'm there with you right now. So this is the first time ever that I've ever run through steps like this. So to get started, first thing you have to do is choose your colors. The first step is choosing your colors. Normally this is easy for me to do because I'm choosing colors that you suggest to me. But for the purpose of this video and only this video, I've chosen these colors because I want to do something fun and summery and electric. So that's the purpose of me choosing these colors. Now another reason I chose these colors also I get this question a lot. What is one of my favorite brands for doing water marble? It is Sally Henson's. And the reason I say this is because of the consistency of the nail polish. It's already somewhat liquefied. But if you're in a situation where you're not using this brand, I would suggest using a nail polish thinner. I currently use Beauty Secrets and that's just the nail polish thinner that I use. I have several other bands, but this is my go-to brand. And I get this from Sally's. You can get this in the store or online. But if you have your own nail polish thinner, I would recommend using it. I don't recommend using nail polish remover because that's the mistake many people make because in the long run, it will ruin the consistency of your nail polish. So as I said, I'm gonna be giving you all the tips for doing water marble. Now, next step is the water. I'm using regular room temperature water. I've, stayed, I've said this before, there's nothing special about my water. If you wanna know what room temperature water is, take some water, leave it out for about half an hour to an hour in a room, and no ceiling fan, no windows open, none of that, and you will have room temperature water. This works best for me, for all my water marbles. Next step is choosing your item of choice to do your design when you come to that point. I like to use a T-pin, and the main reason I like to use a T-pin is because it's reusable. All I have to do is clean it with acetone in between dragging on my design, and I'll have it. Oh, now that we've done all of that, now you have to think about your finger. The reason that I'm using a tip, a nail tip this time, it's just so I don't cover the lens and that you see everything I'm doing. Had this been my actual nail, I actually did two coats of white underneath to make my colors stand out more. Now you can do white or another common question is, can you do any other colors? I would suggest doing one of the colors preferably the lightest color from your color combo. And that way, if you get any water bubbles, it bursts, that color will shine through and you can work with it. If it's white, it's just gonna be a little bit more work, but it's still all doable. I like white because it just makes your colors seem so much brighter and brilliant on top. So that's another reason why I'm gonna use this tip. It's already white, so I didn't have to polish it at all. But if it's your nail, I would suggest polishing your nail. And if you don't polish your nail, test this theory out. What you will notice is that your design comes out very bland and dull, and it just doesn't look as lively as this. And who doesn't want their water marble to be lively? Step after doing all of that is the taping your finger method. I do have a video on that that shows you step by step on how to tape your finger. I'll link that somewhere here in the video or in the description box. So definitely check that out. So now you've, we've gone through all those steps. Are you ready? I like to dip light to dark colors. So meaning a dark color, light color, dark color, light color type thing. I'm gonna use white, and this is like a sheer white as my in-between color. Another question I get is, how many drops do you drop? You can drop as many or as little as you want, 
and I've done that. If you want, if you have very short nails, I would say drop a lot of drops because then you want your design to be very close knit, very tight. And what I mean by that is this area here. You want something like this where the colors are blended really one behind the other. If your nail is a little bit larger, then you can deal with something about this size. So keep that in mind also. The length of your nail will help you determine how many drops you want to drop in the water and everything. Then I'm going to blow on the water. Blowing on the water just helps the polish on top dries quicker so you can clean up faster. Now the reason we clean the surface of the water is that when we pull out, we don't want anything from the surface to come on our design. So I'm going to gently pull out. And there you have it, water marble! <laughs> I absolutely love this, the many designs you can come up with. You can have all your fingers look exactly the same or you can have every single finger look individual, which, which is the part that draws me to this. I absolutely love it. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. Don't forget, if you recreate this summer electric hashtag, electric summer and also enter i heart nail art the sally henson the contest is almost over don't forget the prizes are you'd win 500 dollars cash and you'd win a trip to new york city for two so definitely go to www.sallyhenson.com Upload your nail art to their website and also you can hashtag if you're on Instagram or Twitter hashtag your nail art with I heart nail art. I hope you win and I can't wait for this contest and see all the beautiful designs. I've been looking at them online at www.sallyhenson.com. It's so exciting to me. I'm so happy and honored to be part of this. So again, it's Dear Naturals 62. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep the color combos coming. If you want to chat with me one on one, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to like my Facebook fan page. All the links will be at, in the description box at www.youtube.com backslash Dear Natural 62. Take care. Bye bye.